This is three ways to kickstart your business if you've been out for a little while, you're not making sales at the moment, or you're just starting out. It's so simple, but yet so difficult to get consistency in these three areas, so I want to talk to you, to you about them today. So, first things first is making sales as often in any possible way that you literally can. So I call this gritty sales, making sure that you are coming up with offers to suit people's needs, that you are changing up what you do, offering different one-to-one -one programs, and really leaning into the demand that is in front of you rather than having a specific program in mind that you're then trying to sell. So this is a beautiful example of how you show up for what is happening in the market at the moment. Rather than saying, this is my signature offer, I'm going to go out and sell this, this is the only thing I sell, which is a great thing to do, don't get me wrong. But when you're not making sales or you're new into the, the business and you don't have any client testimonials, it can be really, really frustrating to just sit and try and sell one thing over and over again. And if you're not making sales of it, there could be multiple reasons why that is, but you could start telling yourself a story that you can't make sales. That is the worst story that you can tell yourself as a business owner. So we need to make sure that that doesn't happen. So you want to go out to your existing audience, to people who engage with you in DMs or on your content that you post. You better be posting content. We'll talk about that next. Um, literally any Facebook groups that you're in, any networking groups that you're in, you want to go out and you want to start listening to what people are saying, listening to what problems they have, and absolutely anything that you can solve, I want you to solve it for them. So this might look like stepping outside of the area of business that you're in at the moment. This might look like doing something for a client instead of helping them do it for themselves. This could be slightly different to what you're doing right now but it will get money into the bank. And this is such a good way to kickstart your business. So recently I have um, sort of restarted selling, okay? For anyone who's been watching the channel for a while, you know that I recently moved back to South Africa um, from the UK. And in that process, I took nine, 10 months off from my business. We used that time to relocate, buy our house, get settled, and just overall enjoy life as we moved back home. Then after being off for a while, I started to go back out into the world and say, oh, well, hey, look, I'm still here. I am still doing this thing. I can still help you. And I found that the market was really quiet. And this was multiple reasons. One, the market had changed from when I was in it before. Two, I had been gone for so long that I needed to kind of rewarm up my audience. And like in general, people were just buying something that was different. So I went out with my big signature offer, did a launch, made no sales. I was like, what now? What is happening? And I could have just gone back out and done another launch and another launch and another launch until it worked. But I was like, actually, I really want to get income into the business. So I put together a different program based on the people I was talking to at the time. And I launched that. I made sales. Then I put together another mini program. I made sales and another mini program. And I made sales. And slowly but surely over time, I got back to the point where people started to approach me and say, oh, are you still running your business program? Can I join it? And I was like, yes, absolutely. But none of that would have happened if I had just tried to launch it had not worked and i've just been like oh this isn't for me i'm not going to do this again which is what i see so often when people start selling it doesn't work the first time and they're like oh my gosh i'm terrible at this i'm not going to do this again and then they just hide we're not playing that game so i want you to constantly think about how can i make sales conversations happen every single day in my business how can i be going to networking groups getting in front of different audiences to do talks or running public webinars that are free or whatever it is that you want to do, however you want to get in front of people, how can you be doing it every single day to make sure that your business is going to make money? Okay, so that is your first thing. You want to be making sales conversations happen every single day in your business. The second thing, as I alluded to a second ago, is content. So you should be posting content at least three times a week on at least one platform. 
If you're posting, say for instance, Meta, you can post Instagram directly onto Facebook or Facebook directly onto Instagram. That counts as one like main platform Meta. So you want to be posting three pieces of content. I prefer reels, but you can use static posts, whatever it looks like for you. But the key thing is that you want that content to be deep value. So you want to hook your client in, give them the context of what it is that you're talking about and why it's important to them. And then you want to get straight into, here's my three tips, here's the three steps, here's the model that'll help you, here's the questions that you need, here's how you take action. Because that is the world that we live in now, where people actually want to engage, they want to do something, they want to take action. Information is cheap and readily available in this day and age but actual curated information where it gets people to take an action, that is what people are paying for nowadays. So you want your content to be geared in that direction and make sure that it's easy for people to see the value that you add, easy for people to see you as an authority in your area and easy for people to take action on your posts with a really clear call to action. This could be commenting a word, this could be liking and sharing, this could be tagging somebody, saving the post. Whatever interaction you're asking people for, make sure that you're getting those interactions and then you're following up on them, either replying to comments, replying to DMs, reaching out to people, whatever it is, making sure that you're engaging with people through this process. Because one of the biggest things is when you're putting out content consistently, even if somebody is not engaging or somebody is not actively watching everything or reading everything, they are seeing you exist in the world. And again, if I take myself as an example, I had somebody reach out to me and they said to me they wanted to buy one of my programs and I had no idea that they were even shopping. I had no idea that they were even interested. They hadn't said anything to me prior to that. They hadn't specifically commented on my posts or DM'd me or anything, they were just watching in the background and going, this is the person for me. And when they were ready, they stepped forward and they said, how do I pay you? And that's what we want to engage with. That's what we want to create. But we can only do that if we're consistently creating content. And again, I've been creating this content on my social media for months, yeah, years not a couple of days and then expecting to get this instant result. It's more a long-term strategy that you have to be using. But in order to kickstart, you want to set yourself a challenge of like 30 days. How do you post three times a week for 30 days and start getting that momentum of reach and engagement back into your content? And finally, the last one is lead magnets. So, this is such an important way to actually look at who is at the front of the room. So when you are posting content, as I said, people might not engage, but when you're putting out a lead magnet where you're saying to somebody, this is exactly what you need to get this result. That is when people who are interested are going to come to the front of the room. So you want to think about what is one, two, three different lead magnets that you could create that would be perfect for your audience, that would like line up with absolutely everything that they want and get them to a place where they are ready to put their hand up and say, I want that free thing. Here's my email address. I want that free thing. The beauty of this is once somebody puts their hand up, you can then engage in conversation with them. So you can engage in email conversation with them. You can engage in DM conversation with them. You can engage in a conversation to say, what is it that you need? How can I help you? And go straight back to creating sales conversations every single day through this act of putting your lead magnet out into the world. Now, as you can see, all of these things feed into each other. You're going to be creating sales conversations from people who DM you, who like your posts, who comment on your content. You're going to be creating sales conversations from people who download your lead magnet, who engage with the emails that you send them. You have to, you have to be going out and creating sales conversations and be creating ways to get into new audiences and in front of new people if you want to kickstart your business. 
If you want to get back into business after being off for a while, remember I know. If you want to start your business, if you've never made a sale and you don't know where to start, these are the tips that you need and the steps that you need to follow in order to get moving. So let me know below which of these three steps you are going to focus on and make sure that you nail in this coming month because I promise you this is what is going to make the difference in your business.